get real with BIM. Here's to architecture. We learn from the past. We predict the future and build it. We are dreamers and problem solvers and masters of the built environment. Some think we're crazy. We are legends. We think outside the box. We teach and share and create poetry with gravity and light. We build and inspire. We design everything from chairs to iconic buildings to cities. We move civilization forward. But there's a problem. Henry Ford once said, if I'd asked my customers what they wanted, they would have said a faster horse. Architects are in a 19th century industry, documenting our ideas with processes locked in the past. This is even true with them. The 21st century train has left the station. The US Coast Guard stated years ago, the data about our facilities is more valuable than the physical facility itself. The eye of BIM is information. Architects touch a ton of it. We must learn to be masters of information-driven design. The life cycle of facilities needs many tools linked through open standards. Einstein once said, everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. The technology has existed for years on the internet to manage very complex information in a simple way. The internet is infinitely simple and complex at the same time. It all can start from a spreadsheet. Data is not complex. This is the beginning of a BIM. The spreadsheet with building program data can generate geometries attached with data. Visualizing complexity in simple shapes happens like this. BIM storms are 21st century web-based cloud computing charrettes, which connect thousands of architects, engineers, planners, and owners in real time. The world is connected to the city, which is connected to many buildings. Inside those buildings are spaces which are connected to furniture and equipment. In BIM storms, connections and location are everything. Without it, one cannot start having a discussion. Connecting geography with BIM creates the 21st century information-driven design process. Join us to participate and learn at the next BIM storm at BIMstorm.com. Everybody can join and learn how to BIM. Here's the project site shown in Google Earth. Here's a program requirement from the client in Excel for it. 316,000 square foot building. Here's that Excel file imported into the Onuma system to automatically generate the first version of a BIM and then exported to Google Earth from the Onuma system for an automatically generated building. Nobody's touched the design yet other than managing it in Excel. Next, we will go back into the Onuma system and start configuring the blocks that came in from Excel to check for a blocking and stacking model to see the layout of the building. This is a quick exercise to see how it fits on the site. Here's a resulting model from the Onuma system out to Google Earth again. Now let's export it out to SketchUp, the same model from Onuma system to SketchUp. In SketchUp you can continue to do some design studies based on the requirements from Excel. Now the same thing from Onuma system to Revit, the same data in Revit now. And the Revit user can also continue to do work with the design data that came from Excel. Once construction is complete, the value of information from BIM kicks into high gear. Without accurate information at our fingertips, we will not be able to meet energy reduction goals. The world and buildings move in real time. Managing BIM in real time is now possible through cloud computing on the internet. The Onuma system makes BIM move in real time and connects information and people. Owners can manage their entire portfolio through simple to use tools without needing to know anything about BIM. Sensors and smart buildings dynamically drive the graphics to give real-time display of information. 
Condition of spaces and equipment can be shown in live charts connected to cloud computing them to web services, allowing many different apps to interact with and create data. Here's a BIM of a building in the city. The low level of detail is focused on getting to facility data. A single room on the 33rd floor, isolated from the building. In that room are connections to sensors. We can see the context of the room connected to the building, connected to the city, connected to the entire world. Ultimately, these systems are built on data that architects, engineers, and builders put together. To harness this value, we must first understand that this need exists and be proactive about helping owners to realize the potential of open standards-driven BIM. So, how will this all come together? The world is complex. The economy is tight. Energy and sustainability are changing the landscape. We need faster and cheaper horses. This seems like chaos, but we are perfectly positioned to meet this challenge. We must be proactive. We must be masters of information. We must share and connect. For without this, we will be less relevant in the 21st century. The challenges are huge. The opportunities are even bigger. Join us, will you?